Welcome to MAT2LB, booklet number 8, fractions, lesson number 3, adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. <clears throat> so, in this lesson, this is our first of sort of three steps towards learning how to add and subtract um, fractions in a variety of different scenarios. Today we're going to start with the most straightforward, it's with the same denominator. So, when we add and subtract fractions, let's go to first example, let's go to example number 1, it'll tell us how to do it. So when we look at two fractions being added, so here's our first example, 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5. And we're asked to add them. First thing that you should be asking yourself is, are my denominators the same already? And again, my denominators, that's the number at the bottom under the fraction bar. My no, uh, denominators are, in fact, the same already. So I'm going to put yes right there. That's the mental question I'm asking, but for while we're learning, we'll put it right out there. Are my denominators the same? Yes. If yes, if they are the same, go to step number two, which says add the numerators and keep the denominator. So the denominator we're going to keep, that's going to be our five, and we are going to add our numerators. So our numerators were one plus two, and we're going to add those together. So we have one plus two, that gives us three, and our denominator stays the same. So our answer then is three over five, or three fifths if we are adding fractions with the same denominator. Let's try a second example, this time with subtraction. So we have 9 over 10 minus 8 over 10. So whether you're adding or subtracting, first question should be the same. Are my numerators, or rather, are my denominators the same? And in this case, a denominator of 10 and 10, yes, my denominators are the same. And like I said, I'm going to write that down just to externalize what really will become an internal process. So if yes, my denominators are already sa the same, then I'm going to subtract the numerators and keep the denominator. So my denominator is 10, I'm going to put that right there, and then I'm going to subtract, and that is going to be 9 minus 8, and that's going to give me, 9 minus 8 gives me 1, and I keep my denominator, that's 10, so my answer then is going to be 1, tenth. And that's how we do it. It's how we add and subtract fractions with the same denominator. So I'll do one more with you here. We'll have a look at example A, then we'll get you guys to try B and C on your own, and then we'll be off to the worksheet. So example A, 5 over 9 plus 2 over 9. All right, first question I want to ask myself, are my denominators the same? So I look at my denominators, I have a 9 and a 9, and again, just for now, I'm going to say yes. Those are the same which means that I can just keep the denominator, there's my denominator, and I'm going to add my numerators. There's 5 and 2, and that is going to give me, so I'm going to get sort of a running equals happening here, that gives me 5 over two, five plus 2 over 9, that's going to give me 5 plus 2 is 7, and I keep my denominator. So that is example A, 5 ninths plus 2 ninths is going to give me 7 ninths. What I'd like you to do is, following that same model, I'd like you to try B here on your own. When you've got an answer, come on back and we'll see how you did. Alright, you're back. Let's see how we did on B here. First thing you want to do, are my denominators the same? So I look at my denominators, 12 and 12, so yes, my denominators are indeed the same. That tells me I can keep my denominator, and I am going to do whatever operation I'm being asked to do. In this case, I'm being asked to subtract. So we have 10 minus 7, that's my numerators. And then I'm actually going to do that operation. So 10 minus 7 is going to give me 3, and I'm going to keep my denominator, and that's going to be 12. That's example B. Hopefully that worked out well for you. Last chance to try it out here in the lesson. Let's go with example C. Give this one a try on your own. So hit pause here, and when you got it, come on back, and we'll see how you did. All right, you're back. Let's see how you did. First question I want you to be asking yourself, are my denominators the same? And in this question, yes, they are. Both are fours. So we are going to get to keep the denominator, which is awesome. And now we're going to do whatever operation is required with our numerators. They're telling us to add the numerators. So we have 1 plus 2. And now we're actually going to do that addition. 1 plus 2 gives me 3, and I keep my denominator. So that's going to give me 3 fourths, or 3 quarters, when you add these fractions. 
So that's really the end of lesson number three. By all means, go back and check any of the stuff you're not sure of. If you're feeling good, head off to the worksheet, and I'll see you soon in lesson number four.